all right so now that we've added a new user to our site uh, let's go ahead to set up a custom domain uh, to make the URL uh, the kind of domain that we want okay instead of leaving it as dfy hero I mean sorry as a down as a subdomain on that dfy hero.com okay so uh, right now you're going to navigate over to your account section and then once you get on your account section you will see at the top left corner right here so the right corner right here you will enter the domain name that you want to use okay so let's say I want to use this domain name right here uh, super alpha male I'm logged on to my Namecheap account so I'm just gonna uh, pick up that domain and then add it right here okay and then now I want you to pay very close attention here because this is very very technical and critical okay so you're going to point an a record to the following IP address all right so I'm just going to copy this IP address make sure you copy and paste do not type it out copy right click and copy this IP address as it is okay do not make any mistake here because this can damage your access to this domain uh, sorry website completely all right so once I copy the IP address I'm going to go back to my name chip account right here and then mind you how to get here is under your domain list you will see uh, the list of all your domains manage click manage domain on the, the domain that you have selected to use and then navigate to the advanced dns once you are on the advanced dns you will see a few records i've already added the uh cname record here but i'm going to delete everything and add it again so that you can see how it is done okay so i'm going to add uh, first of all add an a record so here is an a record i'll click on add a new record a record and then i can just put it at um let's say a www okay you can leave it at www or you can put at okay uh it pretty much means the same thing okay so once uh, i click on this i'll just paste in the ip address that i have just copied sorry this was uh, duplicated so I'll just copy the IP and paste it right here okay you can leave this as automatic so I'm just gonna hit this save changes and that is it so once that is done I can now go ahead and add the C name record I've already added it here but it's pretty much the same process so I'll come here over here and then create a C name record and then copy the domain here so the second option oh, sorry the second step is to create a CNAME record on your domain pointing to our domain that's dfyhero.com so I'm just going to copy dfyhero.com and then go back to my domain registrar put the same www or you can just put at okay right inside here okay but I prefer to use www okay so I'll just come over here and then paste in the domain so leave this as automatic and then take this to save changes i've already done it yet so i'm not going to do it again but yeah that's pretty much how it is done so once you are done remember you need to have your a record here and then your c name record here and then once that is done you can you can come over here and then set custom domain now listen guys this is very very important okay if you click OK right now, immediately after adding your records, your site you may not be able to access your site anymore. So here is what to, I, I would advise you to do: leave the site once you have added the records inside of your domain registrar. Make sure you leave everything for like 24 to 48 hours to propagate. Okay? If you don't, like I said earlier. You may lose access to your website okay so after 24 hours or after 48 hours to be safe you can just come over here enter the domain name that you have set the records both the a record and the c name record and then hit set custom domain and once you are sure that it has propagated that after like 48 hours you can hit set custom domain and say okay and then once you say okay it will redirect you to the new domain where you can now access your website from there 
as your domain dot com instead of your domain uh your name dot dot com as a subdomain okay guys so that's basically it that's how to add a custom domain to your dfy hero website without needing a hosting account so this saves you a whole lot of hosting cost all you need is just a domain name and we have your your site hosted on our cloud servers uh, all over the world okay so yeah that's basically it guys that's how to add a custom domain to your dfy hero account okay i'll see you in the next video